Hey, 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 guys, it's your boy Howard Legend back again, and we're gonna rock Team Rockets. Let's chase him down and get that Cubone back, shall we? What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? I was hoping you could tell me. Beauty Aubrey. Mm -hmm. Left hand. Ooga. Let's rock in the house. Ooga. My mouse. Stop! Don't be so mean to Michael Perry. You the one that challenged me to the battle, so just chill, lady. I read that Clefairy evolves when it's exposed to a Moonstone. I read that in a Pokemon journal. I wonder if it's true. Well, Beauty, you would be right. Anyway, Team Rocket made off with the poor defenseless Cubone and enters a mission to get the Cubone back. The safety. We don't want nothing bad to happen to that little beauty. Firestone obtained. And we're going to help our little buddy out. I can catch a lot of Pokemon right here, so buzz off. Why don't you make me? Kyla. Sends out to Kadabra. Puka. Thunderbolt. Let's go. Kadabra. Good job, Puka. A zip is up. Let's go. Chew. Good job, Puka. Good job. Macho. Show him some real muscle. Thunderbolt, let's go, Puka. Hmm. Good job. Puka dodged that one without a doubt. Wrap it up with a zippy zap. Good job, Puka. That's how you do it. Critical hit, baby. My choke is down. You didn't buzz off. I didn't plan on it. When you're trying to catch Pokemon, using a second berry will remove the effect of the first berry you used. I see. Alright. Cut that growl with, now let's keep on trucking. I am a rambling gaming dude. I'm a rambling gaming dude. Well, let's ramble on, shall we? Hammer Rich. Seeking. Evolution of a Goldie. Shall this fight be super effective? Of course. Watch out! Somebody missed with the horns real. Good job, Pika. Razor leaf time. Yeah. 
Yep, let's get rid of the old bottom whip. Might be down to 95 accuracy, but at least it can hit just a little bit better. Watch damage goes. Missed the big chance. <laughs> Maybe next time, boy. Whether it's a game or a Pokemon battle, once you start, you just can't stop. That'd be true. Silver Pepperies. <laughs> Rock on. What's up, my dude? You look good at Pokemon, but how is your chemistry grade? Well, it would be the opposite of me looking good at Pokemon. You know what I mean? Super Nerd Aiden? Now, Puka. Show that coffee! A thing or two about Thunderbolt's chemistry. It might not be super effective, but it was plenty effective to KO you. <laughs> Meltdown. Ooh. Here's. I am better at this. Uh, I am better at school than this. Oh, okay. Whatever you say. X speed obtained. That Growlithe is on a roll. What's up? You should be informed you need strategy to win at this. And what strategy would this be? This battle? Rocker Glen. Jolt! Jolt! Strategy, eh? Just so happens I do got a strategy. Puka, go with Dig. Get him, Puka. It's super effective. And that is your strategy, my dear friend. It's not logical. Maybe. Did I miscalculate? Did I use the wrong move? Hmm. I just had a super effective move. And that was my strategy. Alright, let's play a game. Come on, see what you got. Gamer stand. Rhyhorn. Now he may have some strategy. Hookah. Dig. Let's rock. Horn drill. Missed. Mm-hmm. See what we're gonna take to the face. Ooh. Ooh. Poor Puka. I'm sorry, Puka. We'll get you healed up. Don't you worry. Brood Roots. Razor Leaf. Let's rock. You about got it, buddy. Unless I've forgotten, I believe Horn Drill's like Fisher. It's like one hit KO type deal. The accuracy is like got off. It's like a one in crazy chance of hitting. Drat came up short. I don't know, man. You landed that horn drill. That was pretty impressive. Things didn't work today. Alright, Puka as promised. Fix you up. And with that, we got our little buddy Puka all healed up. Good job, Puka. Alrighty. I'm gonna go up and around. 
Yes. Hello. Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. You are challenged by a lass. Andrew. There's an Andrew. Meow. That's right. Puka. What you got? Brick break. That's right. Good job, Puka. Super effective it was. Puka 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 Puka. Puka. Puka Puka. Give it another break. Break. Effective. Knew it. She definitely likes her meows. But I definitely like my brick breaks. Let's see. A three. Two. I wanna. Hi. Good job, guy. Pidgey and Rattata are cute too. I can't make up my mind. I'll go for Pidgey. We're showing off our Pokemon. Do you want to try? Why, certainly. Oh, Puka. Bring out the old Puka. Megan makes her debut. Pika. You see, my Puka is better than your Pika. Okay? Please. Let me explain. Puka, underground. Let's go. Thunder wave. Ha! Puka, dig. One hit KO. Good job, Puka. Good job. Look what you did to my poor cute Pokemon. Let me recommend a Pokemon Center. Saffron City Gatekeeper won't let us through. I know he's doing his job, but I think he's mean. He just be. out for the old Zippo. Underground path. School is fun, but so are Pokemon. You got a point there, my man. That you do. Super Nerd Leslie. Magnemite. Zippo. You definitely need to upgrade your offense. How about Ember? If only we could get that to a flamethrower, we'd be rocking the house. One more time. Give him another Ember Zippo. You got this, buddy. That is all she wrote. You made it clear to me that I should stick with Skewill. Pokemon so awesome though. I was planning on getting some fresh air for a change, but we're stuck here because of the gates of Saffron City. Well, let's see what's going on here. I'm on guard duty, and I take my duty about it seriously. But gee, am I ever thirsty. Wish I had some tea to drink. Oh, hold on our kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. Well, the rumor is true. They are definitely blocking the path off. Let's 
Let's head on up to this underground tunnel. What's up? I hear there's been a sleeping Pokemon causing trouble out near Celadon City. Let's see. And through the underground tunnel we go. Super Potion! There'll be a Pokeball. X Accuracy. And we got us a lure. And how long this will go, nobody knows. And we got us an X Defense. And there is the end of that underground tunnel. Do you go often? Oh, you know what I mean. To the apartment store in Celadon City. They sell all kinds of things. It's very handy. What you talking about? Number one and number two. Guess it depends on how much I drink. I do like my water though. Check out these pretty little bell looking flowers. Cool. How many gym badges do you have? Let's see. Brock. Misty. Soige. Three. Yvette. Raichu. My ride. Right, you. See what you got. Tippo, let's rock, buddy. Give it a dig. Not bad, old pal. Ain't that? Can we handle it? Yes, we can. And right, you handle this. No, he cannot. Yeah! Victorious! Now we might have a little trouble after this, though. Some Zippo's running a little bit low on the HP, you see. Oh, yes. Indeed, we shall. Ground type and all. I say. Root, root. Come on out, buddy. See what you got. Oh. Get harder than expected. That, my friends, is no good. Oh, man. The trio might be the end of us. Hang tight. Hang tight. I'll tell you what we'll do. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll give it a shot. And what is that we've got up our sleeve? Well, it will be mock. Problem is, the trio's got rock type attacks, like rock throw, rock slide. We may be in trouble. And that's why I did this. It's flying types, if you didn't know. Probably most of you do if you're watching Pokemon. But anyway, uh, flying types are pretty much immune. They're not on the ground, so they're not going to take no uh, damage from earthquakes or ground types in general. And on the other hand, it's... Especially if the ground type you're going against is built like a tank. It's kind of like... Smack in a wall, brick wall with your bare fist. Now it depends on what moves that you're flying type has, so that not be too bad. Then again, Duck Trio doesn't have the best defense. I would call it the pretty speedy. Just the, the Duck Trio family in general. Diglett and Duck Trio. See you soon. 
seal would give us some trouble because it's ice type, so... Yeah. Well, maybe not necessarily ice type, but water type. If you know. I can't remember if it's ice type, ice and water, or it's ice and water once it hits the Dugon ev evolution. Either way, we know that Thunderbolt will be super effective. Ruka, show them what you got. Got them. Uh-oh, you were stronger than I thought. That's right. There's a gym over in Celadon City. Do you plan on going? You betcha. Gotta get my gym badges. Also, this elixir. Alrighty, guys, let's heal up real fast. Let's proceed, shall we? Brutrud is evolving at last. Venusaur! See what it says about Venusaur. A seed Pokemon. A flower on its back catches the sun's rays. The sunlight is then absorbed and used for energy. Very nice. Brass poison? Indeed. Petal Dance. Oh yes. Poison powder. Ta-da! Wasn't powder and puddle dance. Congrats, Brut Root. My boy, you're the first to hit your final evolution. At least of the big three. Oh dear. I think I gave that poor guard too many pewter crunchies to eat. The rat or dry if you don't have any tea or anything to wash them down. I'm not wasting my time trying to walk by him either. We know what he's gonna say. Essentially, alluding to the old T. See. The T, you see. The T. Cup of tea. A small path between towns. Tee hee. Route 7 is nice, right? Okay, you ready? Let's. Now let's play in a symbol called a battle. I was gonna say that's battle, but that works too. Owl Pesh! Far fetched! Dibo! Chameleon! Let's see what the old Dragon Rage looks like, shall we? Very nice. Ooh. No good. This ain't gonna be good either. Oh my. I blew it. Fish. Sorry, Zippo. Let's check out, see what our penis are. Looks like. Shall we? Mm hmm. Pedal dance. Let's rock. Beautiful. Little turn. See what you got, Wiggly Tiff. Pedal dance, brute root. A fish. Now, I should be able to get one more, I hope. In? No? Darn. 
in that case. Awakening as I'm looking at, my apologies. Shall we continue? Wake up, my dear friend. Shall we continue with this pedal dance? I bid you adieu. Alpesh, it was a great uh, session. Thank you for the best battle. Here, take a go. Uh, oh. Try this again. Thank you for the best battle. Here, take a token of my gratitude. TM12. This move is facade. A spunky move that deals double damage if the Pokemon using it has a status condition. You will. I say it'll be time to heal. Actually, let's just head on to the Pokemon Center. Celadon City, folks, welcome. The city of rainbow dreams. Pokemon Center it is. And I've just seen a Pika Team Rocket. Fill up, yes. If you please, Nurse Joy, please and thank you. Thanks again. Hello, sir. A Poke Flute awakens sleeping Pokemon. It does so with a soft sound that only they can hear. I had a Pokemon, I would go to Pokemon Road 2. <laughs> I am Madame Celadon. I'm the one who can look into your future and see the encounters that are to come. Shall I foresee the nature of those faithful allies you have yet to meet? I'll charge you 10,000. Would you like to know your fate? Why, certainly not. <laughs> If fate leads you back here, let us meet again. That's pretty darn pricey. Well, I might... Yeah, why not? Let's just do it. There is a magazine called Pokemon Best Spots. Will you read it? Yes. The amazing spot we're introducing this time is Pokemon Road. It's the sloping road that connects Celadon City and Future City. During the weekend, many trainers walk around with their Pokemon on Pokemon Road. Sometimes Pokemon that become friends there become matchmakers for their trainers. Or not. Don't worry, we'll go talk to her here shortly. Psst. Woman over with the Abra at the corner over there. Rumor has it she is an amazing fortune teller. I see. Oh, seems like you have having quite a marvelous adventure. That means I should increase the moves. I can teach your Pokemon. So, hey, you, do you want me to teach a marvelous move to Pikachu? Oh yes, please. Floaty Fall. Luca wants to learn the move Floaty Fall. Should an old move? Yes. What is Floaty Fall? I'm assuming a flying type it is. Woohoo! Let's see. The user floats into the air. The user floats in the air and then dives at a steep angle to attack the target. This may also make the target flinch. It's physical. Uh, Puka forgot Thunderbolts and learned the Floaty Fell instead. Build a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? That might have been a really stupid decision. I always and always have you kept Thunderbolt as one of my attacks. Celadon City, the city where people of many generations live together. The department store is located here. Anyway. But our, our Puka has a higher attack stat, and I'm, if I'm thinking right, I mean, I'm sure we can attempt to learn Thunderbolt through TM somewhere else within the game anyway. We should be alright if we can, if we gotta fix it. But uh, if it's like in past generations, then I would assume Puka can learn Wild Charge, I think. Though. So, that could be a good replacement of anything. 
But we shall see. Live and learn. We shall see. Nugget. You know, speaking of nuggets, I got a butt blow. A crap turn, if you will. I need to sell those bad boys. Don't forget about them all. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, okay. Rare candy. Alrighty. Save it. What do you think you're doing running around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? Ah, uh, give me a break. Trainer tips. Guard spec protects Pokemon from having their stats lower if you use only one in battle. If you're in the market for items, the Celadon department store is your one-stop shop. This is my trusted pal, Polyrath. It evolved from a Poliwhirl when I used it on a water stone on it. All that wrath. Ribby Ribbit. Ooh, I see Brock. Let's see what our boy's up to. What's up, my man? Hey, I didn't expect to run into you here. I'm on my way back from visiting the Celadon City Gym. Keep in touch with the other gym leaders. It's part of our duties, after all. The girls at the gym all turned me away for some reason, though. Actually... Have some pewter crunchies. I'd brought them as a gift to the gym here. Thanks, my boy. Oh, and you're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Pewter crunchies can make you thirsty. Ah, okay. The tea. Ah, I don't have enough left to give to that thirsty guard now. Anyway, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. Rock, my man, good running to you, and thanks again, my boy. On the minions? I think that's it. But I can only wonder why they turn him away. Perhaps he may be in the hitting on them. That's the only thing I can. And not physically, but, uh, well, you know, flirting, I guess. You watch the anime, you know exactly what I mean. I wouldn't go as far as to say he's the Master Roshi of the series, but he does like the ladies, we'll put it that way. Celadon Condominiums, Manager's Office. <laughs> Being surrounded by my beloved Pokemon while enjoying some rest and a nice cup of tea, moments like these mean the most to me. Reception room. I'm having a meeting with an important client. You want to join in? Sure. I can't sit down. Oh boy. Must be nice working at a company where you don't have to wear a suit. Huh. I see. It'd be nice. You would dress oh casually like. Especially at work. Oh, I see some old school posters and stuff here. Game Freak Development Office. Whoopsie. What's up? I'm a graphics artist. I'm the one who designed you. Oh, it's pretty sweet. It's the script. Better not look at the ending. Well, not do that. 
Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. You probably won't know what I'm talking about, but come back here once you've heard the title. I know exactly what you speak of. Someone's playing a game instead of working. Me. I'm a programmer. It's the game code. Messing with it could bug out the game. Ooh. Me likey. Any more? Ah, uh, poopy. I'm the game director. I'm very happy that you're playing this game. Good luck with filling up your Pokedex. If you collect all the Pokemon, let me know. Sure will, buddy. So, we are looking... What is this? What is that? Anyway, you look on that calendar right in front of me. It's kind of hard to... I wish I could zoom in. Can't really get to it. The calendar. It's got an old school... Um, pixel art of Pikachu. To the right of that is the uh, Japanese uh, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green. And over here you'll see to the left is also Pokemon Red and Green. And closer to the cabinets over here you've got Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Yellow. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's rock. Head on up. Felt like I missed something though back here. Three health candies. We're all the way up here. Oh. I seen the uh, steps over there and I thought there was a way you can get to it through the uh, game director's office, but you can't. Guess I'm overlooking it. I have to get on the other side of the building to access that, access that area. See, it's blocked over there, too. Alrighty. Onwards we go. Okay. Apartment store. You'll be sure to find whatever you need. She will. Ah, I lost again at the game corner. I guess the people who are so good at the games there must be putting in the effort than I do. Rocket Game Corner, a playground for grown ups and kids alike. I see Team Rocket. Mm -hmm. Go check them out. There, come on. Almost got it. Ah, so close. Come on, Jesse. Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on. We've already handed over the Q bone to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with a vehicle on it, remember? Poster with a vehicle that's the best way to represent us. Hmm. Poster with a vehicle. You may have just slipped a secret. Terapuka. Healthy Candy XL. Well, what about that? I guess in the old original game, you could uh, unlock coins and stuff on the ground, but I don't think you can play on here. It's a game in which you match two pictures. Staring at it makes you dizzy. What do you mean? What kind of vehicle is the best way to represent us? You know, those things that blast off into space. Oh, a rocket. Team Rockets Rocket. Pokemon fighting game. Is Pikachu fighting in a mask? Could that be Pokemon Tournament reference? I bet you it is. You guys get the reference, let me know down in the comment section below. Oh, you better have you have better things to do, champ in the making. Teladon's uh, city gym leader is Erica. 
She is the one with nature and the user of grass type Pokemon. She may she might look quiet because she does flower arrangements, but she's not one to be taken lightly. It's been noted. Thank you, sir. It's a game in which you lead Poke mini Pokemon to a goal. I sometimes see suspicious looking people in this game corner. I wonder what they're up to. My sweet star you, it likes to watch people playing games. It's a game in which Pokemon surf on a surfboard. Hmm. That could be a reference to either the Pokemon Yellow where it was that secret mini game where you could surf Pikachu, or it might be Pokemon Sun and Moon, you can surf in that, those games as well. The game in which Pokemon fly in the sky, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? If we could fly in real life, that would be much cooler than the game, though. The game in which Pokemon fly high with balloons. Perhaps it's like Pikachu? Games are great for improving, improving your reflexes. Oh, I see your boys covering it up right there. Psst. Yep. Burn. Phew. I'll take a little break. You'll need to take breaks when playing games. Fresh water. Soda pop. Personally, I prefer me a waters. Like so. Okay. Yeah. I broke my score. If only every day were like this. I'm trying to see what's on that wall over there. It's like some kind of creepy mansion. Some Japanese writing of Pikachu. Well, that's cool. Uh, Y'all might not be able to make it out, but on the poster right up above me head area, looks like some kind of action uh, movie poster. You got my champ, my champ at the top. In the middle, you got Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, and at the bottom, you got my chop in this pose. Pow, pow. Epic, epic poster. And that last one. He has Pokeballs on it. Let's see what this cat's up to. I'm guarding this poster. Please go away or else. Else what? I think I won't be going away anytime soon. Won't you take me? Okay. Oh. Drick Drake. Let's go, Zippo. You got this, buddy. Unless... We get hit with Super or Hyper Thing. We are good. Blast! So much for stopping us from that poster. At this rate, the location of Team Rocket Hideout is going to be discovered. Better tell the boss. There's that poster. Let's see what this guy's up to. We've run out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. Well, you know, itching. Do it. Yeah, I'll meet you to do it. Save it right here. Alrighty, guys, we'll kind of cut it off right here. Actually, let's see what Puka's looking for here. For something. Smart candy found. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys, we'll leave it off right here with Team Rocket's Rocket with a Grimer and.
Boom, on it. Also, one last thing, guys. I do apologize when I said at the beginning of the video, let's take on Team Rocket. Well, we definitely are still going to do that, but that will have to push that to the next episode because I didn't want this to be too long. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all things gaming with Hyrule Legend. Till next time, good luck, Pokemon trainers.